Okay, welcome back to turn 63 now of Heavy Hitters. Um, this turn came back in about 15, 20 minutes, uh, which is usually a sign that your opponent really, really wants to see what's going to happen. Um, so, I am kind of going to press go with a bit of trepidation here. Uh, we're setting up this anti-armor ambush down here with the Panzerfaust guys. Uh, there's probably a Jackson here. Uh, it was over here and it moved down to there. Um, Titan has to know. He's been, he was shooting at them last and he has to know that there's some stuff down here. So hopefully he's going to push here with the Jackson uh, into our little reverse slope armor ambush. Other thing that he could be doing is he could be eyeballing this panther with that Jackson or with something else in there. Uh, it's a difficult shot because it's got its head up, but easily doable. We've also got all this stuff heading out this way. Uh, there's been like zero resistance so far, but that means nothing. So we'll see. Um, and then we have the stuff uh, in the village. So, mm, yeah. I find myself a good angle here where I can actually see anything. So I want to keep a look on these guys in this damn corner. Don't want that to happen again. Let's press go here. And watch this. Okay, so the Jackson is heading that way. I assume it's the Jackson anyway. Does look like it's fumbling about a little bit there. Yeah, we regain control of uh, our little guy there. Ooh, something blew up. So. Yeah, there's the Jackson. Come on, Panzerfaust it. No, that's the scouts so you can see it. So remember, I moved those scouts forward to have a to have a look. That was that may have been a terrible move. Uh, we may have given the game away. Yeah, he's got he's got infantry with it by the looks of that. Unless, yeah, look, everything has suddenly gone wrong. This is the problem when you get troops in this really fragile morale state. They they just go to pieces. Um, so, yeah. We should have really kept these guys all together. Uh, but to be fair, Titans brought infantry with him. Uh, it's not impossible that that's, this actually might be a Sherman with some, you know, a scout team on the back. Or that Titans had a scout team uh, lying around up here keeping an eye on things. So... Yeah, it's probably been hunting forward and it's seen those guys and taken a pot shot at them and missed. Oh, actually. Yep, it is the Jackson. It is the Jackson. Uh, it can only have been shooting at those guys there. I think, anyway. So we know it's the Jackson. And we know some infantry pops up here. Oh, that's like a single infantryman. In fact, that is a single infantryman. Okay, so these guys have gone into shaken mode, but at least they should hold their ground. Uh, these guys have just been catastrophically crap and were lying there quite happily, quite happily. Oh, no, we're cowering, so we can't see the American running around up there. He's casually shot us, and now we're running away. Awesome. And, you know, the entire platoon here has just gone to pop, it's just disintegrated, which is great. But at least, you know, I mean, Titan is doing a good job here of demonstrating how to deal with this problem, which is you send infantry forward. I don't know where he's got this guy from. 
And it is, I am pretty sure, just one guy. Some kind of a hamburger super soldier. Uh, but this, this has important consequences. To begin with, we know that Jackson is over here. Which means that we're going to be fairly safe to push uh, over on the flank. Secondly, um, because the Jacksons here, I know that this is what Titan is worried about. Uh, thirdly, I know Titan's not a retard because he sent infantry, even if it is just one guy, forward to see what's um, what's up front before he commits the uh, the Jackson. Now that he's seen infantry down here, is he going to reverse it off, or is he going to push up? And uh, see what it gets. The Jackson has lackluster HE shells. It's got a pintle mounted 50, which I've never seen them use because it faces the wrong way. Uh, it doesn't have a. I don't think it has a coaxial machine gun. I think that's a telescope I'm looking at there. Yes, that is a telescope. Uh, so it doesn't actually have a, a tremendously good anti -inf amount of anti-infantry firepower. Let's have a look. Panzer Force to 60 and 100. And we'll check the range, but that's less than 100 meters, I think. So in theory, these guys could take the pop-up here and take it out. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Um... If I had control over these these guys, but you know, I don't, uh, it might actually be worth ditching one of the half tracks to get the driver out to man the machine gun in the other half track. Because obviously, you know, you can see them, and he, he could be machine gunning that guy right now, which would be really useful. Uh, but hey ho, uh, did we get anything in the town? Nope. And how are these guys doing over here? They're doing fine. And how's our mortar team doing? It's gotten out. We're moving it up here. Oh, I thought we were moving it up there. It looks like it's just gotten out and it's it's sat there. Okay, that makes sense. I, I must have clicked on a, a tree or something when I was doing the orders. Um, but yeah, I don't think we need to see anything else there. That's cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's what you guys need to do. You need to go up there and deploy the bleeding. Yeah, that, yeah, do that. Mongs. Uh, they have all of their orders. Uh, I'm going to start putting uh, some smoke down. You can start machine gunning things. Can't really see enough to machine gun. I know the Jackson's there, but it doesn't actually, it's not going to have line of sight, isn't that, Panther? And yeah, congratulations, um, Schutzer Schoop. You are going to test the resolve of the American Pixel Truppen in front of us by stepping out of the church and having a look at what's out there. Because essentially you're useless, vaguely useless in your own state right now. So we're going to put you out there and see uh, if anybody shoots at you. Right, let's. Okay, the tiger's there. Uh, 
map it's wonderfully hull down to everything. That's cool. Let's uh, bring it around here. Now, it would have been, it would be fairly smart to actually bring some scouts here uh, instead of rolling forward with, you know, an entire squad. But uh, I wasn't thinking about that when I loaded them up, so we'll just have to suck it. We'll just have to suck it up. Because, uh, you know, it, it's not going to be very sensible to wait now for more. Um, yeah. But, 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 so what I want to do here is I want to kind of establish, you know, punch up, establish a foothold in these buildings here on either side of the street. And then go from there. So we should have this tank, this panther down here, able to work the cut off on these buildings. Um, from that side, and this panther working the cutoff from this side, and then if we just, you know, we have the one in the middle, and then we just punch, punch, and keep punching. And um, we'll mix it up with some smoke uh, from the mortars and this flank attack, and obviously we'll see what happens over there. So, should be interesting.